Yeah, hi. Hi, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm just sharing my screen. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, where is my Excel? Mm, we are in drive. Okay. I hope I, you people can see my screen and uh, even recording yes. is also processing. Yes, yes. Okay. Re recording is also processing. Yeah. So whenever I'm telling you something, right? So when we get the data, we'll process this. So before, okay, when we, whenever we are in company also, we will be having the server down issues. That might be having okay. so many reasons. It might be the serv job server related issue or, you know, they are doing some maintenance activity. Okay. But okay. before doing the maintenance activity, they'll be informing us because we need to okay. hold our jobs. Right, right. It'll okay. Impact, it'll impact on the jobs and it, and we need to inform to our third party system, all the clients saying that the jobs will not process today. And uh, please, uh, please expect delay in, in the reports today. Okay, you should okay. tell them. So, right, but right. I think there was some maintenance activity or maybe server down. So uh, we are in the process of checking that, right? Okay. Yeah. So for this, so as, as these are completely, one minute, Vaishak is calling me. Okay. Just give me one second. Yeah, sorry for that. So as these both are involved uh, with uh, with the uh, application, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the, I'll just skip this, okay? And I'll just okay. go with yeah. the, this one introduction part, which was supposed to discuss the later part once this is done. So it's just introduction okay. part. Uh, I do not need system wherever I see introduction, right? I have some documents with me or some other stuff. Right. Okay. Okay. Or I'll yeah. usually create my own scenarios. So I'll just go with this one just to make use okay. of time and not to waste. So that, that at that time we'll just go into the results discussion. You got my sure, point. Sure. We just okay. saving yeah. the time. Yeah. The one which I'm explaining is this one, right? My introduction. Yeah. Okay. So now imagine. Now just imagine mm -hmm. we create a connection with SAP CMC. For example, if we created, let's say, let's think we created, we created the mm -hmm. connection with CMC and we took all the tables which are available in here to this place. To I yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we create for that we have to create a project first in SAP AS. Okay. Okay. Because SAP information steward, we have multiple projects created and people will work on the respective project for example you say as a ganapati developer you are working on an object called customers all okay. the data related to customer all the tables related to customer is available here so okay first, we okay. are coming first is first thing is you have to create the database connections right and the next one is sap information steward even here itself a project connection, project creation, project creation, okay? And okay. then you come to SAP AS, you open the respect to project. For example, we say we are working on the customers, customers okay. project. There might be having vendors, there might be having finance, there might be having materials. Okay, all these are the respective projects. The tables which are the tables or the data 
which we are working for the customer related tables customer related information all all are associated with the project name called customers okay, okay. the same the data related to vendors are we are having in the other project called vendors again finance modules are having in one and the materials modules having in material so you are a developer okay. one you want to work on the customer you are you have given uh, the assignment to work on customers and vendors and i am having a uh, module to work on finance and materials but we will create a different projects because the, each project should be associated with one one module so okay. we can create any number of projects here and we will okay. work on the respective project so we have to go into that project and then import the tables okay right and then import tables what we want okay we go here and then we import, we go to the uh, we just go to the database and we do remember uh, what are the tables required but in database we cannot differentiate the tables database it is have okay. everything right right but we have to select the name we have to remember what kind of the tables i need for example i say table a table b and table c table e a for customer okay i'll just select the customer table and then i'll just leave it and i'll go to vendor object and my table b is vendor related and go to vendor object vendor project in that i'll import the related a uh, table and okay. then c okay. and then we'll import the other one like depends like, so it depends on the object what we are working so this is the best practice uh, for any of the project you know when you when you when you're working is to differentiate the data and the stuff even for it will be easy for the client to understand okay this project the moment i am opening this project in the sense it is having all related to customer only all the bad data related to customer right so okay, okay. so customer might be having n number of tables first table is like customer details and the second table is a customer address and the third table is a customer related postal code related address and the fourth one is like you know active records because active okay. records uh, concept is also we are having okay for example mm -hmm. we have main data and we are having mm -hmm. active data so active data concept is required every time because for example if active data is concept is like you mean like a v um, lookup we can say so are you aware of lookup concepts uh no. yeah bro v lookup ah same thing in excel X, excel v lookup yeah, yeah, okay. yeah so why do we why we will do a v lookup with a different sheet for example you are having data of this okay and my active view lookup is having records only 1 2 and 4 for example okay so this is my all data and my view lookup mm -hmm. is having oh, sorry my lookup table is having only 4 and this is also my active which means you have we have to consider only these records from this whole set so we okay, do a lookup okay. with this table and we what are the records are matching only to take only those things which are green here okay this to yeah. right that is what we do in a lookup then for and the rest of records i do not want when will okay. this kind of scenario comes i'll tell you for example you are maintaining um, uh, you are maintaining some or some company with you let's say walmart is a company and okay. if you want to process the data or you have if you wanted to do some data migration or you want to ch check some data quality okay the company might have been uh, might have been established in 30 to 40 years ago but okay. we cannot take all the data because when you right. take all okay. the data it it leads to crowds of crowds of record which the system cannot be able to handle if it is can able to handle also it's no use okay right. usually okay. usually company will take 5 to 10 years of data Okay. okay, to process uh, to process some stuff, but if there are some companies where they take all the data, okay. it depends upon the client. So those related act to customers. Okay, from out of that twenty years, there are some records where they are maintaining in separate lookup tables, saying that okay, out of these thirty uh, crores or forty crores, only ten crores of data is available in active record. Please do a V lookup with our main data to get only the active data. which means okay. don't, you don't need to process all you just process only the data which is available in the other place just to look up with that get the active data and then process with only those records so we will okay. just take that records right 
so if this processing yeah. and all doing we look up and all we will do in sap information steward the joins with help of the joins okay, okay. concept Fine. called the joins we take the different tables like this is table 1 this is other table lookup table we do a join okay. on this primary key and take the respective keys of the data so that is called okay. a final table from these two tables we got a final table okay, okay. Cool. now we got a final table and we work on this final table now right we have to work on this final table we cannot work on this table because these are gone now main data active data is gone we need to work on our final data because this is a, our final one so we I need know, to work on yeah. final data for all the rules and also for profiling activities okay so in this uh, so when you come to information steward before to work on rules there is one activity there is one activity called profiling activity so when you come to okay. sap information steward first thing we mm -hmm. do is profiling and the second thing okay. we do is work on rules in data insight module i mean to say okay. our majority of training will be covered with the data insight module first of all data insight yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. data insight 90% because this is the main module and this has been using in the outside market majorly okay other other is very okay. very less and very less usable also okay? okay so first thing is profiling and then work on the rules so in that profiling only we will be getting the different kind of profiling activity profiling concepts like okay column profiling address profiling content profiling redundancy profiling dependency profiling as one more left column address content redundancy duplicacy dependent distant right let me just see here column address unique 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 redundant yeah unique unique profiling unique current and dependency yeah so the different kind of profiling we have so when, before going to these rules mm -hmm. we have to work on this kind of profiling okay 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 yeah so what do we why do we need to do this uh, kind of activity before going to actual rules because this will makes you understand what is my data and how it actually looks address related data to check <clears throat> so this one is the first the first even in profiling activities the first activity which we need to do is a column profiling activity okay what okay. does this do okay. for example we are having this these columns right yeah for example this is a table called address table okay okay this is address table this is an address table so in this address table we are having different attributes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 attributes we have right we, we will say this is either an attribute or an column but it will be good if we pronounce everything as every time as attribute okay attribute okay yeah. so this attribute is having this many columns and the co my column profiling will at the moment i do a column profiling activity it is just a simple click okay we just need to select the respective table and click on okay, okay for this particular table i want to do column profiling just a single check okay. that's it okay. the moment we do that 
it will go each column by column okay first okay. the moment we check the address table it will immediately go to address related column and then it will process okay. all the data which is having here and it will try to understand what kind of data it is okay okay it will make you understand it will tell you as a developer it will tell you it will having lot of fuzzy logic inside okay, okay. it will do round, random logics and it will tell you what kind of data it is and what kind of data for id what kind of data okay. for name for each and every column it will study thoroughly inside what data it is it will tell you that's the reason the name it has come as column column profiling okay. profiling is, okay. is is a sense in it. it it will tell you it makes you understand what kind of data the moment it will go to okay. phone it will understand by seeing the data as yes, saying yes it will tell you it is data related to phone number it will tell you directly the okay. data is related to phone number it will get the description the moment you go to postal code it will tell you it is the data related to postal code we haven't given any instructions to them but how system is understanding it will read the data and there are a lot okay. of logics which is running in the back end so sap information steward back end coding is everything is the java okay they have done different java coding back end to understand okay. if if i am getting input as this data to understand either this is a phone number it's a postal code it's a state or it's some other id it will okay. understand itself it is having some intelligence concept with that with that it, it is right. having some machine learning concept with it to understand to predict something it is trying to predict it it will predict it will okay. say it is a postal code related data and it is a state related data and it is country related data okay right so we will get all these side by side in the column profiling you see oh it is not i mean copy pasting so it is having like this column column 1 is address column 2 is id id yeah name id we missed it and then uh, um state phone number okay phone number country and then country right yeah so it will tell you on the side saying that this is related to address okay okay kind of like uh, it has a yeah. description for it will tell you it will okay. tell you yeah it will have it will tell everything side by side what it is going to do okay, if it okay. understands okay. only if it understands only right okay even system cannot otherwise, understand something otherwise it will be right, blank right. okay 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 this is one analysis the other analysis is it will tell you in for example we say address we are having three records right right it will understand data and it tell you there are one underscore it will tell you the pattern saying guys okay. all my address should be in this format like that all my address is having pattern of 9 underscore 999 right okay okay 9 is a okay. number and x is a character okay 9 is a number and x is a character mm -hmm. as per the system if you see everything okay. is numbers so it will numbers, tell yeah. as a all nines it says for this address sorry not here for this address this is the pattern okay, this is okay, the description okay. this is a pattern okay bro understood right this is a pattern hmm. and then if you come to name this says like this if it is having capital x at the capital capital letters and starting it like x hmm. x x x okay right different patterns it will come no, i am just telling okay. you one all patterns mm -hmm. which is associated will come down by down okay okay if it is small letter it is just a small 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 x, small. Yes, yes. x okay. is a character okay. 9 is a number okay okay always i'll just write here somewhere x is resembles character and 9 resembles a number right Yeah. Okay. And ID. 
So our idea obviously will have some number. So it will just try to okay, tell you 99 pattern or it right. is having 999 pattern or 9999 okay. pattern. Depends how okay. many records okay. are having. It will tell you the patterns. That is one scenario. And it will tell you how many words are available in this. How many words? For example, if you take address, it will tell words. It will tell you okay. number one is been having three times. It will tell you. And then hyphen, oh, okay. hyphen is having you three times in the three. whole data, right? Okay. And then 177, it is having one time. It will tell you 178, okay. it is having one time. It will tell you out of how many records, out of three records, this 177 is repeating how many times? Okay. So out of these three records, how many times one is repeating? How many times hyphen is repeating? How many times 170 number is repeating? Split, it will split the record. It will split the data okay. inside that again. And okay. it will be how okay. many times it is repeating. So it really this is helping a lot for us, right? Okay. This, this, this kind of analysis, it will help you a lot. Okay. okay. This is called yeah. a profiling activity. The concept okay. is involved here in profiling. So in, if, if just imagine if you do not have this application, we need to go mm -hmm. to database and we have to write all these logics in the database as a queries. Okay. How many times this letter, uh, uh, like, you know, this uh, particular string of 177 is just repeating this, this many times. How many times it has been repeating? It will tell you. It, 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 okay. it, we have okay. to write a query for that. But here, you don't give any instructions. Even it will give you the data which you do not imagine also. Okay. If, it is, if we do not have this application, we have to do, we have to see the data first, right? We have to see and yeah. understand, okay, this is this kind of data and I will write this kind of queries to produce this kind of results. Customer will not okay. say you always to write these things, right? Okay, okay. So in, in rules, they will tell you to check this kind of logic, okay? Okay. But as a developer, when they're paying you, it is not every time their responsibility to produce the bad data. It is as a developer responsibility as as a, as you know we are take, we are dealing with the client we have to impress them so we have to come up with the different kinds of analysis to showcase okay to, we have to tell them in different ways like this is what uh, the data this is how the bad data and this is what the different steps we have done from our side and even this is not aware by any of your uh, uh, teams in, in the client systems okay okay so that kind of analysis will be given by as an output by the column profiling actually a okay. lot the one which i'm telling you is just in sample it will give a lot of things like it will tell you how many records are blanks and how many records it is having zeros and how many records for example if you go okay. here we say these two are blank so it will tell you in the name out of the records two are blank so this okay. is a mandatory field and two records are blank which is which means you are failed as a company you failed we will just export this. Uh, we will just export this data and keep it in the PPT mm -hmm. and present to your client. Okay. Right. Because as a company, yeah. they failed, and phone number right. everything is blank, which means they do not have any phone number with them, which is a mandatory for any of organization. So all the organization are maintaining, and your organization is not maintaining the data. Okay. Okay. And again, they will dig a lot of stuff in their systems. And again, they'll come up with the new logics. They might be saying, okay, the tables which you're using, okay, that mm -hmm. might be wrong. Please use other tables and other columns. Okay. okay. They might okay. tell that by showing them because obviously there's okay. some, some other place they'll maintain it. Right, right. But okay. the tables which you receive is not having, but there might be the chances where they are maintaining it the different places. So okay. this is a iterative process. The data profiling is iterative, which means they will come up with something, we will show something, and they will see our bad, they will see the bad data, and they'll think that, okay, this is not as per, as per expected, and I think I might have given right, wrong table. Okay. We do not okay. know the tables, obviously, because we are new to, new, uh, to their systems. They will give the tables. Right. And once they see okay. the data which is wrong, they okay, they might be, feel saying that, okay, the data which I have given might be wrong. I am giving this table. Please try with this. Now we have to change okay. all our logics, all our scenario. Okay. We have to do it iterative. So obviously, okay. data okay. profiling is iterative. Till they reach score of 10, they'll keep on asking you to do all these stuff. <laughs> okay. Right, right. Okay. Right? Yeah, that's how uh, it process. 
so i think we are <clears throat> up with the time i hope this session is useful but the thing which uh, we um, missed is i explanation okay the cmc connection i was i that i thought to explain yeah. but we stuck in the middle and then i just used in this introduction so i'll just maintain call 10 uh, 2021 they, this is completed the introduction part okay. column profile okay. okay. and the setup we yeah. will do whenever uh, we get the time right okay okay yeah. sure sure so as server is not up so we cannot continue with bods class for today uh, ganpati okay because yeah, server is down so no use uh, that's what i spoke with vaishak so there okay. is no use so vaishak are you in the call you want to express something uh yes prashant so i just spoke to the admin and he said uh, it's going to take it him one hour to bring it up again okay so i am not in a position because i was uh, uh, going to give a demo for the file for me okay can you stop sharing i want to share the screen okay yeah so i was actually going to uh, i think you have to enable it in the security for me i think So I was actually going to demonstrate uh, file formats, uh, SQL join and query join, and you know those concepts today. Uh, so actually, I would need the remote uh, machine for that. So, uh, so he's going to he he said it's going to take uh, one one and a half hours time. So he actually has outsourced it to someone. So yeah. Okay. So these are the topics that I was planning to conduct today. So these are in. Uh, bread for now uh, so uh, we'll have to come back to this tomorrow ganpati so i'll sure watch. sure yeah yeah no issues okay. no issues okay so it occasionally this happens actually it's a shared system and you know there are a uh, few users that we'd be using you know but just okay. the user is unique but then you know it's a um, it's a shared so you know shared architecture so that's uh, might be the reason it went down right now so okay. we'll continue on this tomorrow sure uh, sure yeah okay so these are the list of topics the way prashant is covering so the similar list of topics so you'll find mm -hmm. it in the topic list uh, excel sheet on our uh, on our shared drive okay so okay. you can okay. see them so these were the things that were planned for today and these were the things that we have covered in the last two days oh, yeah. okay 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 yeah. so yeah so i think uh, gadbadi i think you can drop off so avinash want to spend uh, a few more minutes so i just want we had to give him a, a basic yeah. demo yeah sure so vaishak yeah no yeah. Yeah. You, you guys carry on yeah yeah i'll i'll leave thank you thank yeah. you thank you again buddy for thanks for sure yeah. thanks for mm, thank yeah you. yeah i'll stop uh, the recording and then we'll start freshly okay because this sure. needs to be shared to yeah Okay